John here guys and today we're talking about the iFlight Chimera 7 inch the ultra powerful very large long range cruiser and we're doing it a little bit different today Yvonne Limon actually picked up this bind and fly and brought it out to the night spot one day he was testing and tuning, getting ready for a trip. Now, Yvonne is the 10th ranked racer in the world, but his guilty secret pleasure that we're gonna reveal to the world today is that he likes to go long ranging when he goes out on vacation. So he's preparing for a trip to the mountains of Colorado. So I got some close-ups of this craft and we're gonna talk to him about what he thought and then at the end, we're going to see more, some more of that amazing long range footage. Now, Yvonne has long been a vacation flyer of the Flywoo Explorer, which he recently lost when he sent it a little bit too far out to a little island across a lake. Now, he wanted something that could capture a little bit better footage, hold a full size GoPro, in this case, the Hero 9. The new long range, no more Flywoo? No, I still have my flywheel. This is here. So first okay, you... Okay, if you want real camera footage. Yeah, so just... first you explore with your flywheel, right? Because mm -hmm. it's only $400. Well, only. <laughs> but because this one with the GoPro 9 is $1,000. Whoa. Yes, you know, sure. well, almost. Well, with the batteries, it probably will be 1000 Oh, and Crossfire Diversity. Yeah, it will be around 1000 I feel like. Maybe 900 No, no, no don't do that. So first you send the Flywheel Explorer. <laughs> to explore. And then if it's good, if it's not crazy windy, if you get good receiver, like you good, good you have good video, then you can send this. Mm. If your GPS stays good, you know. I fly. I mean, it looks like you can freestyle that thing. It's too. pretty powerful, yeah. Uh, even on 5S, like you can like dive a building, you know, no problem. Mm, and yeah. I even flew the course. I got DVR. I, I, oh, I yeah, finished I like two laps something. on this. I, 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 <laughs> but it was like with this camera angle. 20 degrees, <laughs> like almost flat, like, that I don't good know. camera protection too. Yeah. I also want to try yeah. this 5S right. pack. This is 5, 5S 2200. This is Chimera? Is yeah, this is, uh, how do you say it? Chimera? Yeah. Or Chimera? Yeah. Chimera? Chimera? I don't know. Um, diversity receiver, diversity VTX. <laughs> Everything diversity. Nice. Yeah, this is much smoother than the one I built. Um, <laughs> I like it. I, I think know. I put too big of a, or too high KV motors. Yeah, well, this one has a, a 1700 KV. Uh, there is a 1700 KV, but I figured this is for long range. This is not yeah, for like freestyle yeah. reaping and anything. And I went with the 1300. That's probably better. And it's still possible to fly 5S, like. This is a 5S. Beeper. Lost model. It gets louder, huh? It's not loud. It's like mm. it's uh, twelve dollars, like fancy beeper with uh, two separate like beeping elements. Like I put one here and one here. Um, so much time on soldering, but it's not even loud. I think I'm gonna replace it with a regular one. Mm. Kind of frustrating, but it's so much wiring to wire this. Because it came in like in four different pieces. This is like a control module for the beeper. There is a battery inside. Who makes this beeper? This is Flywoo. Oh, okay. But I got a different Flywoo beeper that came in one piece and it's much louder. Like not much, but louder and it's only one piece. So you see this is this is how, how loud it gets. <laughs> Like well, some that. of them get louder after like a minute or two. No, no, this doesn't. That's it? Yeah, that, that, that's it. Yeah, that's it. I feel like the one on the Little Explorer is louder. Yeah, it's louder. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's for sure louder. <laughs> I actually lost my Little Explorer in like deep, like one mile away. I had to like do emergency landing. 
and then it was a very high grass and like a field and we were able to find it using like this beeper like not this one but the, yeah, the single element beeper here. on the flywheel yeah. it's pretty loud because we basically walked out, out out of the car and Cole was like oh I can hear it <laughs> <laughs> so I did good in Colorado yeah, oh yeah, it was it was a blast to fly. It was though it was hard to find a place where it is legal to fly, uh, because mainly if you find a beautiful place, wow, this is amazing, it's gorgeous, I gotta fly. You Google it and you cannot fly because it's like a wilderness, or it's like a national park, or like a local rules. So certain. they don't care if people get high, but they care if people get high in their drone. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. But then, yeah, I still managed to find a couple of really nice places to fly where it is legal. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I want to check out this footage. Yeah. Isn't it pretty nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Some lost mines, uh, some really like mountains with snow. It was pretty good. Technically, they do care if you get high. Because so did you do your plan? Did you send the Explorer first? Yeah, I did send Explorer first. Oh, just uh, to check it out? Yeah, just to check it out, just because Explorer is 400 bucks, and this with GoPro is 1000. It's basically more expensive than my car. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, yeah, yeah. So Explorer can be even cheaper if it's analog, but uh, I got the DJI, DJI Explorer, it's and it's pretty stuff. nice to fly. Still scary to, to lose, but not as scary mm. as this one. Dang. So, so do you like the GoPro 9 footage? Do you yes. notice the difference between 7? I didn't notice my difference though. Really? Okay. Yeah, uh, I think the the hyper smooth that is like advanced hyper smooth or whatever, yeah, yeah, because yeah. in 7 it's just hyper smooth and it works pretty good. Here it's like super hyper smooth, but I don't use it because mm. it's too much smoothness for FPV flying, but maybe I'll use it when I chase like wakeboarders or something when you need like super stable video mm. and uh, But the image quality itself seemed about the same? I, I didn't, yeah, but I, I honestly I never really noticed like You know like session mm. 5 for me is also good Ah, get out of here No problem, <laughs> you know, but I, Yeah, I didn't notice much difference with the uh, image quality Maybe a little bit, who knows Long range Yeah, but Dang. I really enjoy it, it's pretty good are you gonna make your own long range frame now? I don't think so. You no. can be like uh, Russian Dave C. Yeah, Russian Dave C. I don't know. I think there are just too many. I like I made open racer because there are no frames that satisfy me. Yeah. So I made this, and for long range, That's the nice requirements nice. are not that hard, you know. Mm, so there true. are a bunch of good frames you can just pick and fly. True. You know, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So what do you think in the comments, guys? Do you like reviews like this? Ivan ended up breaking all of his seven inch props getting this footage for us. So I've bought him a set of these new HQ uh, seven by four by three in light gray. That'll be nice and cinematic. We're going to give these to him for helping us out with this review. Uh, make sure and click all the links below and hopefully we can earn a little bit of money and give that to him We're gonna good, wish him a good luck on the multi GP qualifier as we go into national season Do you guys like long ranging? Do you like big seven inch cruisers? You know where I live I built one up and it's just I don't have enough space to be able to fly that But if you are somewhere where you do have enough space to stretch that big drone legs or you like to go on vacation, bring a quad with you and get some amazing footage like this, then this is definitely the top of the line. Ivan is a super talented builder. He builds all of his own race quads. He's the designer of Open Racer, which you saw on the channel recently. But when it came to something like a film tool, he decided to buy off the shelf. Why reinvent the wheel when everything is kind of done for you? He did say that he spent many, many, many hours taking everything apart, conformal coating. He does some really superb weatherproofing because he does like to send these things out into the wilderness. So thanks, guys.